if business as usual continues, we can expect uh, Greenland to continue melting, of course. That's more than likely given the likely climate change scenarios. And at some point, um, we do lose the option to um, you know, save Greenland. Welcome back to Climate Test Live. I'm Chris Mooney, and I'm sitting here with the Greenland expert and glaciologist, Jason Box, a man who has had boots on the ice of Greenland 23 times. Twice a day, it sends 12 hours of, of depth and also temperature. And so he's uniquely positioned to help us understand just how much climate change is threatening this giant ice sheet and whether, in effect, it's already lost. In the last two centuries, the snowfall increases are not nearly enough to compensate for the increases in melting. Sustained um, hot weather in Greenland in 2012 kept um, the heat flowing uh, from the south into Greenland. And that pattern in summer has been persistent for now six years in a row. And it makes you start to think this may be the new normal. When I was taught glaciology in the mid-90s, we thought of ice sheets as responding in tens of thousands of years. There actually have been some moments seeing uh, a glacier landscape changing on the scale of miles. And you come back to this place and, and you, you're kind of speechless. Uh, seeing is believing. For example, the fastest Greenland glacier um, doubling in speed while retreating several miles but before my eyes. Greenland is a distant place, but its effects are felt globally, not only through sea level change, but through changes in our weather in the U.S. Each year, like 2012 especially, Greenland contributed about 1.6 millimeters to sea level rise. In addition, land ice elsewhere from other glaciers contributed almost as much. Antarctica is contributing about half as much. That adds up to, you know, three or four millimeters that is on top of existing storm surge. These small changes in sea level correspond to multiples more inland inundation from, from storm surge. This is a real problem for coastal planners, mayors of U.S. cities. Sandy proved to Manhattan that long-term planning is, is you know, verifying that it's necessary. You said even more than that today. You said that already, given that we have greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, almost 400 parts per million. Um, mm -hmm. That implies a gigantic sea level rise from Greenland and land-based glaciers and Antarctica that we haven't even seen yet. You said 20 meters. A 69 feet in global rise in global sea level just to be in equilibrium. Yeah, I think that's something that, that scientists don't like to uh, confront because it actually um, illuminates how much more we need to understand. We don't yet have a good handle on the rate of sea level rise. Greenland becomes lost when we're far enough in time and say temperature uh, above a, a threshold that the, the dynamic drawdown of the ice um, leads to a permanent um, retreat um, that only a, a multi-thousand year ice age would restore. 